Hello and welcome back to Pyre. I'm Lazy Bones, and on the last episode, uh, we did the uh, worm right. Yeah. And uh, now we're here. Kind of uh, skipped ahead. We leveled up. I think we leveled some people up. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I last played. I don't like the thing. Wait, what's, what's, what's it say? The south current towards storm wall brims with large sea creatures. Tizzo seems very eager to see the wagon head in this direction. <laughs> Ragged Rock. The north current toward storm wall passes by old carcasses of ships long gone. Rookie spotted uh, wreckage in the area and believes there could be valuables to find. Let's go here. I ain't listening to no bird. Ow! Who do you think I am? Crazy pants? No, I'm lazy birds. Though I, I like crazy pants. <gasps> the remnants of a shattered fleet do little to raise the confidence of your companions. Give that the massive given that the massive deathless tempest rages oops, to the north not far from your position have you read this a tempest raging in the sea of solace seemingly for all eternity hmm. pretty sure you read this but i'm reading it again the storm that arose after the death of the sea titan unfathomed plurnes never has entirely subsided. Ah, oh, this is what they're talking about. <laughs> Jadario. We, okay. Voices, forget. We ought to be more concerned with those storm, with that storm, than in finding trinkets, Green Tail. Yes, oh, relax already, Jody, and let me do my job. I don't show up when you're out there keeping watch and start telling you to come off it, now do I? You interrupt me in the middle of my work no fewer than four times per day. They go on like this for some time before turning to you. Investigating the wreckage is going to take time, but you may find something to show it for it. Show it for it. Show for it. Read it backwards. Continue searching the wreckage. Yes, why not? No, it is of no use. Well, we're here to search the ships, so I mean, why would we not search the ships? Uh, you suggest it may well be worthwhile to continue searching through the wreckage. After having come this far, Yuki grins widely. Widely? Wide. Though they both work. Yuki. Knew you'd see it my way, chum. Now, let's see what we can get. Chum, I like that. I think I'm gonna start using that. I like chums! Uh, after an exhaustive search. Uh, sorry, chum. I think I was just chasing the refraction of the sun or something. There's nothing down here. Ah, oh, you son of a... Mm. Jadario fumes. And all of this but says nothing. Ah. Oh. A waste. Some nice uh, artwork looking place. Oh, I have like a, like a frog in my throat. Okay. You and your companions look upon the deathless tempest. The stars demand you sail beyond it, yet the very thought is beyond reason. Then, Something in the nearby water stirs. From it springs something... From it springs something familiar. Oh, Sir Gilman, you're here. Cool. Uh, hold! Good ladies and good sirs, this light beseeches you to hear him, if you please. What is it now, worm? The rights are ended. We have no further need of you. Oh, what do you do? 
And in turn, this light has further need of you. Good order. Out with it then. Oh, I'm not going to yell. I mean, I have neighbors. Uh, let us be joined. Let this knight join you. Please. Can you believe this, Hedwin? Not really, no. <laughs> Nay, look ye not surprised. Your valor in the rites did stir this poor knight's soul. He swears to you upon his long-lost honor as a would-be knight errant errant of the sea dominion that he shall serve you to the end uh, what about your other worm friends back there the pyre hearts okay they are base cowards this knight can no longer abide sights by such spineless characters have witnessed true glory in our crash upon the Hulk of Oz. Never before have we been trounced so thoroughly. One of the downsides, celestial landmarks. And furthermore, this night shall aid your passage through the deathless tempest. It is not so. Wait, it is it. Not so that you seek passage to the north. With the knight's aid, you shall achieve your wish. <laughs> Sir Gilliam continues to persuade you for quite some time. He seems to know a way to cross the storm. Some sort of long-held secret among worms. Exile to these waters, Sir Gilliam. He is a once proud knight of the sea domain on a self-made quest to regain his honor. Jadario pulls the rest of you aside after Hedwin gives her a look. Are you most sure that Sandalwood would want this thing along? Mostly sure. Sandalwood wants someone for each mask. And this one seems about as good as we're going to get. Jadario glowers back at glowers back at the worm who tries his best to look presentable Hedwin is more gracious he tells Sir Gilliam that if he promises to help you cross the uh, deathless tempest then he can come along for now this guy's too much this light is overjoyed and he hereby swears to you, past the storm. <laughs> the first, this knight requires your consent. Give unto this knight your blessings, in the name of the night wings, and thus shall he go forth. Sir Gilliam seems to be asking your permission for something. Uh, attentively agree to whatever he is asking so he can get with it already. I uh, beg pardon. It is not clear to you as to what exactly Sir Gilliam intends to do for you right now. Yeah, what? <laughs> as you begin to see something in response. As you begin to say something in response, Sir Gilliam cries out in triumph. I thought it was him, so I was using the voice. He vanishes into the depths, yet through this close encounter with him, you cling to some sense of where he is going and what he intends to do. Sir Gilliam is determined to help you cross the deathless tempest. I need some water. Uh, determined to prove himself to you and the Nightwings, Sir Gilliam emerges somewhere in the outer reaches of the Sea of Solace and calls out to you. Master Rita, if you can hear this knight, then impl 
then he implores you not. Lead, lend him your guidance. This night's objective ought be not far east of here. Today, we shall bring peace to the embroiled sea. Now, no, however, that among this night's brethren, the actions we are about to take are highly forbidden. But they are highly just. Thus Sir Gilliam sets forth to quell the storm that rages to the north. Traverse the reef. Oh. Jump. Smash. And slither. Oh, right trigger. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Huck! Yonder lie the foul spawn of unfathom poops, boiling the seas with their breath. Yeah. Unfathom uh, plurns. The sea titan once slain by the scribe under king Oris. Her blood lies dormant in the sea. Tales of her monstrosity long spread across the world. Exiled worms within these waters long have harbored these abominations, using them to bar passage through the downside's channels for any save this night's own kind. Be gone now from here, Frank friends! This night shall finish that what the under king all started. Banish the foul spawn. Yes, I know. Oh, I can... Oh! He's going backwards, not the way I wanted. Huh. So I did this. No, not the way I want. This takes some getting used to. Now what? The leg get hold on right there, you treacherous lag. Dare you turn your back on this knight to your superior? Superior by rank, no longer, for we no longer serve the commonwealth. Last this knight checked, here you hold no sway over this knight. And what have you done to the spawn? Have you no honor left at all? This knight has done that which required doing. His, his honor cannot sink much lower anyhow. He figured that th this would be an ideal time to free himself from servitude to you. Why you? You dare to staunch the tempest for those night wings? Good sir. This knight was born to dare. Now, come and fight this knight, if you so dare. As well. Fire <laughs> hearts. Banish them. This is an order. Banish him. I said them. Oh well, they killed themselves. That's interesting. So I have like a sludge trail. Cool, I guess. Oh, what now? Sir Delug... <laughs> Shall you not face this knight yourself? And leave the dirty work onto your charges. Uh, fine, Gilman. You wish to stand against our commander? Then have it your way. Samaj, Lady Seagrass, to me. Banish now uh, this troublemaker. I could just pretty much make a defensive wall. Stand here. Wow. 
That was really easy. <laughs> wow. Okay. You are master of this night no longer, sir, little girl. Thus shatter our fraternal bond, sir. This knight would say it was an honor serving you, Sir Delagher, but that would be a ball, bald faced lie, and yet another stain upon his blackened reputation. Until we meet again. Sir, great, you lowly traitor. I think this knight will have your head, Gilman. Hmm. Very intense. See that? Kind of easy. Oh, I keep uh, getting like this hiccup feeling. Anyway, uh, as the day wears on, there is still no sign of the worm knight. Your companions grow restless, but then. Hey! This knight returns with newfound tales to tell, and new scars to show for them. Sir Gilman is sopping wet and visibly shaken. He struggles to maintain decorum. He is, in short, the very image of a worm knight. And, more importantly, this knight tempest ought no longer pose a threat for now. Behold! As if on cue, the deathless tempest begins to simmer and subside. Wait a minute, wasn't this thing raging for ever like since titan fell how did that one thing stop it so easy would you look at that he really did it of course this i did it now if it would be at all right with you this knight could really use some shut eye the worm knight then collapses in exhaustion you and hedwin help him up a deals, a deal, Sir Gilman. Welcome to the night. What's up? Uh, Sir Gilman joined the group. He also revealed a path north for you. Did him welcome. The Deathless Tempest. Uh, you have not yet been to this region of the downside. Sweet. Off to sail the seas, the wonderful seas of the downside. Rough, 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 rough to sail the seas. <coughs> ah. with Sir, uh, with Sir Gilman's aid, you managed to breach the tempest. <laughs> you were true to your word, worm. I shall give you that. But now what? We are stranded in this cursed. Storm. A most excellent question! And from one most fair. <laughs> Call me that once more and I shall tie you in a knot. Ah! From one most spirited as well. This knight was wise to side with ye. <clears throat> Just where do we turn from here? Answer the question now. <laughs> Sir Gilman does no such thing. Although, eventually, he does make note of a specific current that should lead you to the lands beyond. If I may, I can corroborate Sir Gilman's account. We are close to making landfall. Then let me be the first to say, uh, let's go. You are on the voyage of sailing across the Sea of Solace. Voyage onward. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, let's go onward, I guess. Um. Say, uh, Tari. I, Rookie. What is it? That loot you're always carrying around. You know how to play that thing, do you? Ta. Why, I suppose I do. Good, because I was thinking it's a little gloomy here and we could use a little tune to lighten up the mood. You know what I mean? Vara. Aye, then let me see what I could do. Oh, 
let's continue because I don't know if this song's copyrighted. I kind of have to keep talking over it because it, that might be copyrighted. And uh, I don't want to get knocked on that. But it's kind of nice. I'm going to end the episode off here, actually. <laughs> Just about that time. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pyre. I am Lazy Bones. And I'll see you on the next episode with Pick It Off. Pick It Off. Pick Up where we left off. So, Black Basin, see you there. Bye.